I feel nauseous, believe me. Never had a lot of sh come easy. Had to work hard, struggle just to be me. Had to rise up just so they could see me. Did what I had to do just to feed me and what was left. Hey guys, welcome to or back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, my name is Evita, and on my channel, I just post anything. <laughs> but in today's video, I am going to be reading nasty comments from Jehovah Witnesses, extra or like current Jehovah Witnesses people that have no clue about anything so I wanted you guys to see how nasty they are that can be like in my comments and how they are in real life so this is comments these are comments that were left on my first video Sebastian says that elders would not take dinner from your father or family if they knew they probably didn't even know they just thought your mom was being hospitable no fault to them that doesn't make your mom brainwashed um, Sebastian, was you there when the elders was eating the food for my dad? I didn't think so. So <laughs> what are you talking about? Like if you were not there, were you a fly on the wall or something? Were you a spirit in that room with them inside the kitchen with them or something when, while they were eating? I, I'm not, I'm confused. I know a story my dad told me that she fed them and didn't even think about them. She was brainwashed because she thought in her mind she had to put the elders before she put her husband. Don't do that. Don't act like you know what was going on, what my father has told me. I guess now you're going to say that my father was a liar because you were there. Next one is from Sean Goodall. So the perspective that the author uses is misleading. As for shunning, for instance, this, fellowship, this fellowshipping is a sign of love. It is to shame the person into repentance and change. People influence others. We become products of our environment. Therefore, Johannes do not associate with people who rebel because they do not want one bad apple to ruin the whole bunch. It's an act of protection. This woman seems like her feelings were hurt and she is making decisions from an emotional standpoint, standpoint rather than intellectual. Sean, <laughs> when the elders S.A. a child should they be disfellowship or should it be brushed off I, I bet you don't even know that that happens inside of the cult right so an, an elder S.A. a child and that child needs a witness that someone oh, I'm sorry let me turn my ring off a ch that child needs a witness to say that somebody S.A. them but what adult is going to SA a person, a child in front of another person. So you're, you're, you're delusional. I, it's not about my feelings. It's about, it's about truth. It's about facts that what doesn't happen. Being disfellowship is wrong. If you ask anybody else that is not in that cult, it's wrong. Why would you shun that person when the Bible says that you should bring that person closer? You should smother them basically, basically with love. Why are you putting them off and into a world that you have told them to stay away from for so long. Now you're saying, whatever, we're not going to be there for you. Go out into the world and figure it out on your own. Which is why so many people take their own lives when something like that happens to them. You're, you're, you're not talking from an intellectual perspective. But okay. Alright, so Naomi Mencher says, These people are loving people and you won't find any other people in any religion like them. Lord, you have the saying of everlasting life. Where can I go? This was said to Jesus. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? What are you talking about? <laughs> okay, I mean, if they're loving to you, more power to you. Stay in that cult, honey. Alright, next one says... I don't know what this name is. Lux, 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 Luxiana? L-O-A-X-I-N-A. Luxina? Why can't I find a video that says why I joined Jehovah Witnesses? Yo, I have a best friend who's a Jehovah Witness. Jehovah's Witnesses. She's very humble and nice and she helped me a lot in time of need. She chill with any... What the heck? She chill with anyone, whether a Jehovah Witnesses or outsider. She's like a sister to me. I can't say anything about them because I've never experienced anything bad from them but kindness and love. Girl, go join it. Join it and see how loving and kind and kind is what they're going to show you. My husband was an outsider and he came in and he had his Bible on his phone 
and they were like so disrespectful to them. My ex-brother-in-law was not allowed to play basketball with them. They told him because he was not a Jehovah's Witness, they could not play basketball with him as an adult. Yeah, that's really loving. That's really showing kindness. Bless your heart. Next one is uh, from Ursula Negesty. Well, I guess I'm the only one here commenting that I'm still Jehovah's Witness. Jehovah knows he's no... Jehovah knows he knows everything. Leave it all to him. There's a lot I don't agree on, but know that we all have our own will and will be judged by our deeds. Love to y'all. Don't give up on doing the best you can in life. And girl, I'm living my best life without having the influence from a, a, a man trying to tell me what to do, when to do it. Like, that I'm not married to. I'm, I'm living my best life. You, you the one probably still struggling in that religion probably still say you think it's like really good until you come out and you're like wow I was in a cult I was brainwashed I was led to believe that this was right that shunning my loved ones when they needed me the most was right when it, it really wasn't next is from uh Ricardo's Ricardo's does Ricardo's Williams one day you will remember the peace you enjoy in your childhood and you will long for it and it will not be there anymore. You know and I know man imperfect Jesus. We all do things right. Don't judge them but their actions. What are you trying to even say? I was you but now I regret ever leaving. One day you remember what I'm saying. I hope not. And we'll understand. What the freak? Watch it. I gotta reread this whole thing. I gotta reread this whole thing. Let me reread it again. One day you will remember the peace you enjoy in your childhood, and you were long for it, and it would not be there anymore. You know, and I know, man and perfect. We all do things right. Don't judge them, but their actions. I was you, but now I regret ever leaving. One day you will remember what I'm saying, and will understand. But for now, make it over watch over you so many never make it back. I don't know what you're trying to say either, child. I don't know what you're trying to say. You're saying I don't regret leaving. I'm not. I'm out here living my best life. I like celebrating Christmas. I like celebrating my birthday. I like celebrating all holidays. I'm out here. It ain't about be celebrating holidays. It's about my own freedom. It's about me being able to think on my own and not thinking like, oh, my God, what would the elders think? What would, what would the people at the congregation would think? I guess, sir. Uh, Jacqueline K said, find this hard to believe. I don't know what you find hard to believe. I mean, whatever. Uh, Carl Overseas TV says, why you don't know everything? That's what I understand in this video. Maybe you don't know that you are doing. What? Wait a minute. Maybe you don't know that you are doing it. That's what it says. In the first place, if you are aware in the surroundings, especially inside your family, you know and why this happened, you should know that. Why you know the big congregation if your own family you don't understand? Listen, number one, if y'all going to try to come for me in the comments, make sure it makes sense. I don't, I don't know what y'all be trying to say. Before you hit sin, proofread it. Read it out loud to yourself before you hit sin. Because I don't know what you're trying to say. You can repost that and tell me what you was trying to say. Because I can't make it make sense. Charles Perry says, your mother is not living for her to speak for herself. Your mother would have a different opinion. Did you just say my mother was isn't here to speak for herself? So how are you going to say she was going to have a different opinion? Did you grow up with my mother? Did you know my mother? Did y'all go way back? You don't know what my mother. I knew my mother. Don't, don't do that. I hate when y'all do that. A lot of them trying to tell me what my mother think. My mother could have had a change of heart for all I know if she hadn't passed away at such a young age. For all I know, she could have came to her senses like I did and had a change of heart. Don't do that like you knew my mama, like y'all go way back. Uh, and then he put, Charles Perry also put, you need to stop the elders are good people. Yeah, good at S.A. and people. Uh... Next, uh, the happiness sit hole Ellen says, when Harmageddon comes, you remember the Jehovah Witnesses. Wasn't 
Armageddon supposed to be here in 1914? And then what was the next one? 1970? I can't remember. Shut up. Uh, Lena Strass, Strauss, I don't know how to pronounce that. Yule, Y-O-U-L, regret this video. Okay, I think you'll regret how you just spelled Yule, but okay. Maria Bentoncourt said, leaving the congregation, so what? You have to put your trash. What? What? Put my trash? Yeah, okay. And then Felix Colon Jr. says, apostate. Thank you. I mean, you guys are so funny. I'm going to continue to do these videos as you guys continue to leave nasty negative comments on my videos as if no one would see them. I'm going to leave these comments. Hopefully, I'll put them on this side so that you guys can read them and know that I, I'm not just being crazy. Like, they really were not making sense. Again, if you guys watch this, if these same people watch these videos, leave another comment and let me know how you really feel. But make it make sense this time. I'm okay with you guys coming for me. At first, I was in my feelings, but y'all don't know me. Y'all don't know my struggle as being a Jehovah Witness. Y'all don't know what me and my family went through as being a Jehovah Witness. That's why... I have four other siblings. Only one is still in there. That lets you know it's not a good religion. It wasn't for us. They were not good to us. If they were good to you guys, more power to you. But guess what? That was not our experience. You cannot comment on my experience. You cannot comment how my mother would feel if she was still alive. You don't know. I don't know. Now, whatever. But thank you all so very much for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button right along with that notification bell so that you're notified each and every time I upload a new video. And I will talk to you in my next one. Bye. Where I put towards my dreaming, but the only thing in life that has meaning are the things.